Using Adobe Photoshop's built-in automation functions, working with sets of images that need to be manipulated quickly and with consistent results can be accomplished easily and efficiently in a variety of ways. One of the most common automation tools is the Action Pane. An action is a recorded series of editing steps that can be automatically executed on a file or batch of files with the click of a button. These steps can be static or other times can be made to be dynamic so that values can be changed during the action playback. Certain operations cannot be recorded in an action, but these are typically file dependent functions that would probably not produce the desired results across varying images anyway. To create an action, have a file open and go to the Actions panel, and at the bottom select the New Action option. The New Action dialog will appear. Here, you can give your action a name, assign it to an action set, establish a key command for your action, and specify a color for the action for working in button mode. Once you have made all of your selections, click the Record button to begin recording. The red record indicator will come up, and from this point, the operations and tasks you perform will be recorded and saved to your action. For this tutorial, I'm going to prep some images for a blog. The format for my blog requires all of my images to have a one pixel black stroke, a drop shadow, and the images have to be limited to 500 pixels in both height and width. First, since this and the other images in my set are imported JPEG files, I need to convert the locked background layer to an editable layer. If you need to keep your original file untouched, you should at this point go through the Save As process to create a PSD copy of your file to work with. You can pause your action recording and resume it at any time by clicking the Stop and Record buttons in the Action pane, respectively. Next, I will resize my image, since the drop shadow and stroke I will later add are both size dependent. Since my source images are not all the same starting size, I would like to have a little extra control over this step in my action. I can gain this by toggling on the dialog pop-up control next to the resize task in my action pane. This will cause the action to pause and allow me to make image specific size changes before the tasks continue. I made sure to pad the height of my image by 10 pixels because to get the drop shadow I want, I have to expand my canvas and apply the stroke and drop shadow to the outside of my original image. First create a new layer and drag it below the desired image. Now, when the canvas is stretched to the 500 pixel limit, there will still be room for the drop shadow and stroke. After the canvas has been set to the new size, it can be filled with white. Shifting back to the image layer and applying the drop shadow and desired stroke will bring us to the finished look that we want for the blog. At this point, editing the image, and therefore the creation of our action, is finished. Clicking the Stop button, or in Photoshop, striking the Escape key, will save the recorded tasks to the action. Now, we are able to switch to a new source image and repeat the same series of edits and steps, only this time, do so with a single click of the Play Action button.